Sivas Parkham. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here on Tribune, where you are facing the most intriguing board game of the time. It's really amazing what happens on this board. Tactical gameplay at a new level. Um, be smart, die hard. Well, the title of the game of today is Die Hard. Uh, by the way, the stand-up, uh, the stand-up, the, the stand-alone variation from our online game is um, yeah, is considerably making good progress, um, and we hope we can launch it this year. Maybe that will happen. Uh, until then, uh, go down to the description below, check it out. You can play. Uh, I'm switching to the board view. Everything you see here. Uh, is on the tabletop simulator or print out the stuff we had uh, on our website www.tribune.org and play it in the real world. And now I would say, let's go to work. Huh? Yep. <laughs> I like this effect when everything is setting up for the battle. <clears throat> And see, Max is always going for this approach, and I'm really having a hard time him setting up these uh, Ferraris, I don't know, in the garage. And if he opens up, let's say, something like that, uh, well, when that happens, he is seeing a lot, and I really dislike that. So... I was scratching my head and um, yeah, we had lately a game where I tried to figure out what to do best against this approach. Yeah, yeah and so I am mm. Max, I can speak, I know, fantastic. And so um, <clears throat> I try to mute. <laughs> and so yeah, essentially this game was a little bit uh, of a... Um, uh, opponent's color approach. So I placed my units on the opponent's color and uh, well I would fight on my opponent's color in the future but you did a similar thing. So uh, you kind of played on my color and it was a little bit interesting. Yeah I'm trying to impose some problems <laughs> and very early combining up to be ahead if you are coming for me, but you, yeah, you go for this nice little fork already and, well, this is completely deranged. What is happening on this board at Centuria? Uh, maybe if you are new to this game, uh, well, here are some soldiers and if you stack them up, you gain different units with different movement patterns. Uh, if you pick these up, you see where they can move. Uh, the archer moves like this, and and the Centuria is a beast in close melee range. But it has its drawbacks. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely so. If you support this dude, then, well, there is nothing. And here is the support. And you are even threatening something like a discovered attack on this dude. And you have to bear in mind that a Ballista is a perfect Centuria Hunter. Yeah, for it would take six pieces but remain at its place. Which is very annoying. So let's say I was to jump away. This opens up. I would take six things just... This would be if I had two moves in a row. Obviously, that's not how it works, but essentially I would just take six pieces, remain at where I was, and uh, that would be really annoying. So you couldn't even target that afterwards. And that's the yeah. main drawback of the Centuria, because if it attacks, it always has to conquer the, the target field. And so I'm trying to get out of the way of such critical situations and maintain this plug in the center 
where you trying to crisscross me somehow. Um, so what I basically achieved was getting those two equity together and then splitting up in a different way. But you instantly go for this. You spot that I am on a diagonal with a Tribune and this one here is quite loose, I would say. Just the support of this dude in the background. And so Aww. I then had some ideas. This was obviously one of them, but then you kind of opened your flank and I thought, well, ah, uh, if you give me this opportunity, uh, I will gladly take it. Mm -hmm. And so this is a little bit um, scary looking as there might be ideas of taking here and it's just generally uncomfortable. Uh, so you presumably did something against it. Well, you, you attacked here. Um, I'm not sure. That doesn't do a whole lot against it, but uh, <clears throat> basically uh, trapping this one up here. Essentially, you're just going, yeah, you're bluffing. Uh, you know, you don't have anything, and uh, I'm going to trap you and win all these pieces. But I guess it would have been better. Can we take one step back, please? <clears throat> just maybe going for this simple approach. Because you do not have two consecutive moves. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm attacking here with the Equus. So you have to deal with this problem. You can of course jump here and try to remove one of the defenders of this dude. Because otherwise you could just take here. If I would take with three, then three would you remain and you would kill me. But this way... Oh, I'm... Let's just show it. Uh, yeah, otherwise okay. it would I mean if this wouldn't be here or uh, let's say you oh. could you could take you could take three things and I could reattack like you see the red circle indicates so I could take three but then three remain and you kill me so this is not how it's going to work so I have to support him somehow Here's the support. Now I'm 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 protecting this guy with five points. So you cannot take because I would basically take five pieces. That's a lot. But if you go for hunting this dude down first, there is no Angor situation. Angor would be a threat on my Tribune. But there is none. You see, when I pick this up, it's not attacking the Tribune. So I would be first slaughtering your ballista right away so probably you had to deal with this somehow but i didn't do it so you, so you went forward and it's a little bit annoying you're trying to attack this yeah but just and a little I bit i just went for it i went all in yeah. the idea is something along the lines of going here and like a triangle or V kind of movement and you shut that down so this one can't really move right now uh, this hexagon is physically uh, blocked, blocked yeah. and uh, the idea of going here is only so good as these hexagons are now well supported so there's actually nothing there but I think you did it anyway, right? Yeah, you did. Yes, because, um, you know, why not? Uh, idea is taking here right away, and uh, it's just pressure, you know? The more pressure your opponent is under, mm. uh, the, more, uh, er uh, the more mistakes they are going to make, the harder mm -hmm. it is going to be for them to find their preferred way of answering your threats and it will just be uh, nice for you to play against them. And sometimes you have these crucial moves, you really have to find those uh, and if you're not, you're losing. See, this guy is stuck a little. He's on the threat. I, you don't really want to go here because uh, then you're, yeah, you're completely offside. So what are you going to do there 
Uh, I could switch sides, but it doesn't feel right when two of those dudes come into my garden and knocking at the back door and saying hello, and my Tribune is still here and he's just one, one man at the door trying to keep it shut. So this feels not right. I could attack, but you see all these fields are covered here and there. It's a difficult Perhaps decision. Perhaps you could just go back, you know? Yeah, but this gives opportunities. You could as well take, and if I retake, then you can take. Uh, you can't, but oh, this is... Well, I, I th I'm quite fond of this move. You just shut everything down. No one can move. And, uh, well, essentially, the en enemy is kind of asked to move and uh, to freak off, <laughs> in a sense. But anyhow. Oh, no. Um, yeah, so that didn't happen. You supported this one. Yeah. And so I took. It's a trade. Yeah, you took. And now I took here because harming the bigger unit usually is a good decision because it takes time to recreate some. But you have this in between move. Ah, this is bad, you know. I cannot. And you're attacked? I cannot really run for it. Oh, no, sorry. No, no, no. When I'm picking it up, then better don't do it. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. So I probably have to combine up. Yeah, you're kind of forced to. I mean, y y these hexagons are all attacked, uh, and, and your last escape is sealed off with this one. But uh, you... you took this opportunity and <coughs> created a Centuria Tribune. And, uh, please <laughs> just stay like this. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Yeah, so, amazing. Yeah. So this I'm, was well. so terrible to deal with. Because, you know, uh, this is great and all, but this piece really, really, really annoys me in this position. Yeah, because you can say this wasn't yeah. there. You then attack. you could combine freely. You could also decombine freely. Like, uh, say you could do something like three and uh, I don't know two. Or something I don't know. Like you that. need you do you need a support here. Otherwise, I would just jump over it. It's, see, the thing with this is it, it's a little bit tricky. You, maybe there's like a trap or something. Well, I would say there is none. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, okay, maybe you're right. Let's, let's not Anyhow. dive it too deep, and you could as well have attacked with this as status here when, like so far the when point, there is not a double attack. Okay, but the point is, I could not protect this one as yeah. there was too little, uh, uh, there was not enough room, and so, uh, you know, I, I went out of the way, you took the other one. Question mark? Well, then I could just move. I lost three pieces nonetheless, yeah. but I could target this, I think. And I probably did this. <laughs> oh. Now it's fighting a Centuria Tribune. And it's a little bit frightening as I'm even down a material. Technically, uh, seven pieces got absorbed. But um, now you have to do something. Yeah, I guess my attack on, on the Ballista and the Sagittarius duo here was quite right. But I did not really capitalize on it. I got entangled in the next skirmish here. Now this skewer is really not looking good in my favor. It's It's... More the other way around. There's a lot of pressure on this dude. Yeah. Yeah, and the only r real problem in my position is this unit. 
it's a major problem as I can't really involve it easily. You know, to, to involve a piece you usually want to take something out of its way in a, uh, in a f manner that you attack the enemy or something important of the enemy and also open up the free space. But the thing is, I, can, I don't really have things I can attack. Like, for example, if I do this, I threaten these hexagons, but there's nothing I could attack there. And so this, uh, the opening up of this Equus does not have this oomph effect. So yeah, and you would that's... shut down this one. You block it. Yeah, yeah, just for the future, if that were to move. Anyhow, now it's about attacking the uh, Centuria Tribune, and for that, very uh, simple two rules. Take as much as you can, well, three technically, take as much as you can, lose as little as you can, and uh, restrict the enemy movement as much as you can. So this so, was yeah. lose anything. And this gave me some time to consolidate this situation. What I'm trying to do is, yeah, now threatening you in in some way and getting my Tribune as close as possible to yours. So maybe I can utilize all the absorbed soldiers beneath. Yeah, but here comes the this pressure. Was, this was... Uh, well, this is technically fourth rule, uh, but that applies all uh, almost always. Attack, attack, attack. So essentially, th that's just a threat. You have to respond to it. So you're limited in your moves, and you chose to uh, basically answer with a um, counterattack. Yeah, it's not a counterattack. It's just a block. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah re really, it's, yeah. Man, when I was talking two seconds earlier, I saw, well, there is a discovered attack, and as soon as it arrives on the board, I'm completely blinking on it. Dude. I'm a little bit distracted as one of our, ca maybe you see the this one? Yeah, she, she's just chilling on my uh, former uh, bed. And mm. now uh, couch, but the other one is like at the door trying to get in. <laughs> but, uh, no. <laughs> uh, anyhow, because she I likes Tribune and she wants to be with us. Yeah, I know, uh, but <clears throat> she would knock off, uh, knock down everything. Anyhow, yeah. so uh, you attacked me like this, but n then I blocked you and uh, opened with a yeah, counter attack yeah. myself. <laughs> Which is a little bit funny, I think. Yeah. You, know, you moved out of the way, so it there is. was not very much I could do. And then I, uh, you know, I, I got one of my equity involved. I, and there was really no attack. I, I had nothing. See, this dude here is, is really the foundation of it. He conceals these. They support him. This dude may support him if he arrives here, let's say. So, yeah. That's bad news. And when you, when you achieve to give a threat, a threat, a threat, then I'm just reacting and this will lead to a fatal blow. See now, yeah. I'm counter-attacking, I'm taking away this field. I thought it was smart, but, well, just splitting up. Here's another threat on the Tribune and on this dude. Uh, I, I was about to say I have to back up, but uh, no. <laughs> I can step ahead and say hello, my friend. And now... This is like an interesting move, I think. It's essentially like an offer. It's uh, basically asking you, yeah, do you want to take this and get into my little cave here? 
-hmm. Now, what could happen next? Uh, this did not happen in the game, but something along the lines of this, maybe, and then maybe you take here, but then you're stuck. You can't really get out of this very easily, and uh, something as simple as this should essentially uh, glue you into this position, and then I just need to attack you once, and you're dead. Yeah, and here it is. So, this is the reason you should not take this. It's uh, basically a Troj Trojan. Wait, wait. wait. Well, let's let's show. The, the golden rings indicate just attack fields. So you have to regard only the red and green circles because the Centuria can go to these fields. But you see, the, the white circle here says, well, this is blocked by your own unit. This one is supported by him. This one is supported by both of these. This was supported by him and now it is as well by him and they take these these man these two has teddy take away all these three fields around here so yeah as you described before this would be really bad and by the way to the curious of uh, thinking well how exactly what would happen if this w was to happen, you know? Um, probably something along the lines of moving upward, and there's still nothing you can really do. <laughs> yeah, so, no, he takes away this crucial field. And so, you know, you can sacrifice and you can kind of weasel your uh, yourself out of it by sacrificing this, but, you know, this is essentially the idea. But it would so be you a don't bad want to take this. Yeah. It's a, a bad gift, you know. And and so you moved away. Very nice. Mm. Uh, by the way, and I moved away too. If you have a tabletop simulator, you can download the DLC for free and play Tribune as you like. And you can uh, also download the um, replay file. It's just a text file. Uh, copy it to to the what is it notepad here uh, and and load it into your system and you can play and dive in and all that stuff yeah okay yeah just trying to utilize my army but you slaughter more men down than i can create Disgusting. It's disgusting, man. Well, you tried to get there. Yeah. But you also have uh, this cheeky little move. You didn't do that, though. Uh, and you instead attacked this one. I did not like this. Uh, it was a little bit annoying, but, you know, you can only do so much against your opponent's ideas. And so I just moved out of the way, and it was, like, kind of... And the, the worst news is that here are two of those. Otherwise, you could just gently place it here. Because if you would only be able to take four pieces, and a status would remain and kill you. So I that would be my ticket to get in. But no. And it would essentially be an instant win. But... Uh... Yeah, because nope. uh, yeah, I would cut you off from any opportunity to to combine up, and in the next move, I have six pieces, and that's more than I would need to bring you down at this close distance. Yeah, but that's not as powerful as as the one before because this dude here was oh, it was protected. Now the protection is gone, but. More problems on the way, <laughs> and you see, I'm trying to nip tuck, seal everything off. It's like sitting in one of those tiny little boats on a sea, and someone with a drill is drilling in all the way down some holes, and you're 
putting your fingers in these holes and you run out of fingers, basically. Yeah, so uh, this was essentially what I'm trying. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just creating too many problems for you to plug your fingers in, uh, figuratively. And so this is essentially uh, the rescuing move. I'm essentially yeah. risking you to get in, but I saw that I could attack you and defend myself. But this so was this is this is still hanging, but you're uh, on. You're essentially forced to move now, and then I can get them out of the way. I can protect, and I'm cutting off this rank. But this was really ingenuity. When you at first took the Equus down here to threaten me from the backside, you left the protection of this dude, but I couldn't take it. And the moment I dealt with this threat, you came up with another threat from the front side, and by the time protecting this dude again. This is really smart. Yeah. And so, now it was your move, and you decided yeah. to create Nathan Duria. Brothers in arms, come on. And then, here I finally made the decision to get this one involved. This used to be very horrible, but now it actually solves a purpose. I'm defending <laughs> myself. Mm -hmm. Hooray! <laughs> now, the thing is... It's not a great defense. Um, and just, especially not against it, the Centuria. Yeah, so if the Centuria took, let's say White had another move, and then I took, well, four would remain and you would take down here, and that would really, really mess me up. Yeah, this is this mirroring. If you attack a Centuria with an Aquas, the same unit arrives on the board, and the same thing happens if you attack a Ballista, six pieces high, with a Sagittarius, three pieces high, then... Well, it can always backlash. And now you now do not I have did. to protect him anymore, now he engages in the fight. And so, this was like a little funny uh, contraption here. I basically uh, stacked a whole bunch of soldiers in this one single place but I, but I also had this tiny lookout and I'm just trying to capture you in this corner somehow this is a masterpiece I I really dislike to admit but it's really yeah you just shove me around on this board and it's I'm really feeling uneasy it's bah, and the next attack see like you said before you have this these somehow little bit bigger units and you arrive in the neighborhood and then they dismount their horses, grab their bows and their spears and clubs and come for me. Man. And you try maybe, to get out. Maybe I can, but there is just no point. I cannot, really, I can step here. But see, I cannot step here if this would be the case i could somehow escape but you easily nope. block me out and i have to back off again and now you're you're really caged in now what this is <laughs> it's like a little swarm of uh troops and uh well i i just thought what I could do here and I just took there it's by it's, the way that looks looks like I'm washed ashore now and the flood is coming and it is yeah, really by the way, coming and I'm not I cannot swim this big dude is just thinking not not thinking sinking to the ground now you might be thinking like um, 
Is there a difference between this and uh, this other uh, other move that I played? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, it's a very significant difference. And I, uh, di I didn't see it at the time, but this one felt better. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the yeah, thing it is... It leaves you with better opportunities. Yeah, for, uh, especially as you protect this. Yeah. This is very important, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, you can reach very far into this corner. Uh, this one would have just uh, reached up to here, and the other one is a little bit further. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, especially uh, useful. So yeah, I, I could not have done this uh if those basically swap yeah, yeah now it was possible you supported this to this is another masterpiece you jump in posing a threat and as soon as i'm reacting to it you split up and creating another threat and i'm hopping around and by me yeah you forced me to just hop back and forth and you you position all your soldiers you need perfectly in my neighborhood and this is a nail to the coffin man to die that way i mean we are often talking about the servos here these small soldiers and well they are not agile and they just cover a minority of fields around but if they get that close Man, and it's over. They just smush you. Yeah, and so you essentially got swarmed, and uh, yeah, that, that would it, that was it. Uh, I I think I think there's a yeah. At least I I I took my profit here. But I lost my head, unfortunately. It felt quite bad at the time we were playing, but seeing it in this replay, this is so cool how you did it. I mean, bringing these Thank pieces you. here and there and placing and now jumping in and splitting up and pushing and pushing and pushing. And ultimately, there is nothing I could have done. Really, there just nothing. And he was watching from a distance, smoking a cigarette or, or leaning against a tree and saying, Hey man, how are you? I mean, he could spot me very easily. I was high above the clouds. Yeah, if you watch from this perspective, you, you see me and you can say, Hey, man. And so okay. essentially, the only pieces that really didn't participate are those. And then you had this whole side of pieces that are that were kind of left there. And yeah, I, th I think this comes down to being forced uh, every move. So yeah, yeah, it was kind. Of... And again, uh, this was one of our best games, I would say so far. And I think too, yes. Nothing in comparison to other games we had before. Ah, yeah. uh, by the way. Um, let's just take back, nope. before I took here, uh, let's repair this. I mean, this dude is really serving a purpose, because I could not go to this back rank. It was cut off. So, every single unit in your attack played a crucial role, and together they achieved what they had to achieve. Greatness. Right? <laughs> Greatness, yeah. See you in Elysium, my friend. The next time you are going to fall. Let's <laughs> switch off the we'll music. about that in the next game. Yeah, we will see. Okay, we're on the goodbye screen. Some last words from your side. Hello. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the game or the game. Uh, ideally both. So the game in and of itself, Tribune, and the game, uh, what was it? Uh, Die yeah, Hard, I, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
if you liked, uh, uh, if you would like to play Tribune or would like to review the game on your own, uh, just look in the description. We have a website uh, and, and you can get everything there. And I think the, uh, the, f the file of the game should also be there. So yeah, the I link know. is directly in the um, description always. Yeah, so uh, besides that, uh, we I'm currently working on the online version. Still, I know, <laughs> but I'm uh, but I'm about to finish school. Uh, it's uh, gonna be next Friday, actually. So, uh, in more or less exactly one week, and um, yeah, I will hopefully have a little bit more time. Then. Yeah, but yeah. soon you start your university career, and then you do not have time anymore. Okay. Anyhow, uh, so I hope uh, you have a, a great day or had a great day. We still wish you a great time after this video. Uh, and, and maybe we'll meet again, you know. Leave a like, subscribe, share the video and, and all of the fun stuff. And I would say see you soon. On Tribune.